Hello everybody, welcome to Tabi Eats. Today we're going to show you how to make a delicious bowl of miso soup the proper way. Let's get started. Today we are making tofu and wakame seaweed miso soup. The first step is making the dashi stock. So we are going to use kombu, which is kelp, and bonito flakes. We'll use 2 to 3 sticks of kombu 3 inches in length. Wipe the surface with a damp paper towel. Do not wash in water as this will take away the umami that's necessary for the dashi. Put 2 and a half cups of water in the saucepan along with the kombu and let it soak for 30 minutes. Turn on the heat and remove just before boiling. Don't discard the kombu as we'll use that later. Once it comes to a boil, turn off the heat. Add in 2 cups of bonito flakes and let it sit for 1 to 2 minutes. Set a colander on the bowl and lay a couple of sheets of paper towel on top. Pour the stock into the colander. Do not push or squeeze the bonito flakes. Just let the stock filter naturally. Keep the bonito flakes for later use. We'll show you what to make with this leftover kombu and the bonito flakes at this end of this video. This will make approximately 2 cups of dashi stock. Pour a dashi back into the saucepan. If you don't have time to make dashi stock from scratch, just use a pack of instant dashi. If you do, make sure to add it to water that has been boiled. Let's prepare the wakame and tofu. Soak 2 teaspoons of dried wakame in water for 5 to 10 minutes to soften. If you don't have time, you can simply add it directly into the soup. Depending on the type of wakame, soaking may be necessary to remove excess salt, so be sure to read the package. You can use one third to half of one block of firm or soft tofu, whichever you prefer. Today we are using soft tofu because I like the smooth texture. Cut the tofu into small thin blocks for easy heating. Now the ingredients are ready. Bring the dashi stock to a boil one more time. If you're using ingredients that you need to cook longer, like carrots or a radish, boil it with the stock at this time. Once the dashi comes to a boil, turn off the heat. How much miso to add really depends on the brand, but a good rule of thumb is add a 1 tablespoon miso to a cup of dashi stock. You can always add more if necessary. If you have a miso koshi, a tool specifically used to make miso soup, that's great. But if you are like us and don't own one, just use a ladle and chopsticks. Make sure to dissolve the miso completely, or else you'll get lumps of salty miso in your soup. Once miso is dissolved, heat until just before boiling. You don't want to boil the stock at this point, as this will change the flavor of the miso. Adding the wakame and tofu at this point. Tofu and wakame is very easy to cook and edible as it is, so I recommend adding them after the miso. If you like your miso soup very hot, heat gently until just before boiling. And your miso soup is done! If you're using the instant dashi, add a pinch of it at this point to add additional aroma and flavor. Pour into individual bowls and add chopped green onions if desired. Well, that sure smells delicious, Satoshi. Thank you very much. And it looks yes. good too. This is Japanese flavor. Mm -hmm, it is. And you know, I mean, just from the smell, you can tell that this is not instant. You can tell it's, you know, like made with care. And I already know it's going to taste delicious. Um, shall we try it? Yeah, please. Hai. Dewa, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect. It's Perfect, Satoshi. Now, the reason why we decided to make miso soup today is because although it's an easy recipe, we find that too many restaurants make it wrong. <laughs> you know, some restaurants, if you go to really cheap ones, they are flavorless, and other times, I mean, it's just too salty, you know? So it's really hard to get that right balance. So a good rule of thumb to remember is for every cup of dashi stock, you add approximately one tablespoon of miso and you would get the perfect balance of saltiness and flavor. 
Um, of course, if you prefer it a little bit more salty, um, add a little bit more miso a little bit at a time. Um, if you add too much in the beginning, it's really hard to go back. So just, you know, go easy on the miso and you'll be fine. Another great thing about miso soup is that you can add your favorite ingredients. And my personal favorite are julienne potatoes. Julienne potato? Oh, yes, that's my, my favorite. My mother used to always make that mm. for me. And that's one type of miso soup that's hardly available at restaurants. <laughs> it's always tofu or you know, wakame seaweed. Uh, so what's your favorite ingredient for miso soup? The mushroom. Nameko mushroom. Nameko mushrooms, that's true. You also like natto in your miso soup too. Yes. Natto miso soup <laughs> is great. It's, it, it's actually really good, especially during the winter time. I don't know why, it's very warming <laughs> to me. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's basic Japanese recipe. If you want to see more Japanese recipes like this one, let us know in the comments down below. And we do have a Japanese recipe playlist, but you can go there by clicking on the i up there. And um, let us know what your favorite miso soup ingredients are. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, Take care, sayonara, bye bye, adios, ciao. <laughs> Today, we'll show you how you can use the leftover ingredients from the dashi stock. First, cut the kombu thinly. Squeeze the bonito flakes of excess moisture, then roughly chop into smaller pieces. Put them into a saucepan and add a quarter cup of water. Once it has come to a boil, add in 1 tablespoon of sugar. Simmer for 2 to 3 minutes. Then add in 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Simmer over low heat until the liquid has evaporated. Add 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds. And it's done! This keeps in the refrigerator in an airtight container for a few days. And it's great on steamed rice. Enjoy!